Good morning children. Hope you are safe and fine at home. Today we will do a story called The Laughing King. So this is about a king who kept on laughing. He couldn't stop at all. And this story is in the form of a skit where you have different scenes and people giving their dialogues. So let's start reading this story. Scene 1 King Leonard is taking a walk in his garden. So here we have the king named King Leonard. He is walking in his beautiful garden. Then he says, What a bright sunny morning! How colourful my garden looks! Ah, how sweet the flowers smell! Now, who is that hurrying here? Isn't it Griselda the witch? So King Leonard is taking a walk in his beautiful garden. He is loving the day, the bright sunshine and the lovely morning. And he's looking at all the beautiful, colourful flowers in the garden and admiring them and even getting its sweet smell. And suddenly he sees someone walking very fast towards him. When he looks closely, he comes to know that the person walking towards him is Griselda the witch. So Griselda is seen walking in hurriedly. Hurriedly means very fast. Of course it is, he says. Why this haste and hurry? Oh, oh, there she slips and falls into. Ha, 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 the puddle. Ha, ha, ha. How muddy her face is! How wet her clothes are! So Griselda the witch was walking in a hurry coming towards the king. So the king says, why is she in such a hurry? And just as she is walking, she slips and falls down in a muddy puddle. And when she falls down, her clothes get wet and her face is full of mud. And the king starts laughing at her instead of helping her. And he kept on laughing. Ha 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 ha. He laughs louder. Griselda scrambles out of the puddle and comes limping towards the king. So Griselda the witch gets out of the puddle and comes limping towards King Leonard because she hurt her leg. Now let's see what she has to tell the king. Griselda angrily shouting. So now she is very angry because the king kept on laughing at her when she fell down. Shame on you King Leonard. You laugh at my fall? So she shouted at the king. Shame on you, king. That's so bad that you're laughing when I fell down. King Leonard? Ha ha ha. So the king continues laughing even when the witch is shouting at him. Griselda? If you like laughing so much, may you laugh all the time. Zang Mang Shang. So what is this? Because she was so angry and in spite of her shouting at the king, he still kept on laughing. So the witch got even more angry and she placed a spell on the king that because he likes laughing so much, he will laugh all the time. So now, the king is under the witch's spell. So he kept on laughing more. Leonard, 
Ha ha ha. Which Griselda sits under a tree, frowning at the laughing king and wiping off the mud from her body. So after she casts her spell, she goes and sits under a tree, still angry at the king and wiping off the mud from her face and body. Now we come to scene 2. This scene 2 is now taking place at the palace. Remember scene 1 was in the garden. So now the king has gone back to his palace. The king enters still laughing. The queen who has been looking for the king comes to him with a plate full of cakes. So what is the scene too? The king enters in and because the spell is cast on him, he is still laughing while entering. The queen is coming towards the king with a plate full of cakes. Then the queen says, handing him the plate, means she is giving the plate to the king and saying, Won't you taste these special cakes I baked for you? By the way, why are you laughing? What's funny dear, won't you tell me? So she has baked some special cakes for the king and is asking him to taste them. But she is also wondering why the king is laughing so much. So she is asking him to tell her what is so funny that he is laughing. Leonard continues laughing. Ha ha ha. Queen getting annoyed. Annoyed means now she is getting angry because the king is just not stopping laughing. Stop laughing dear. You will drop the plate. You won't stop. So she is telling him please stop laughing now or you will drop the plate down. Will you stop it now? And the plate falls from the king's hand. So just as she said, because the king was laughing so loudly, the plate of cakes fell off from his hand. Oh no, you have broken one of my best plates and dropped my special cakes. Boo hoo hoo. And Leonard is still laughing. Ha ha ha. So the queen gets very angry that the king has broken one of her best plates. And not only that, he is even thrown all the lovely cakes that she baked all over the floor. So she is very upset and starts crying. But the king still can't stop laughing and continues doing so. Princess Cynthia comes and sees her father laugh and her mother cry. So Princess Cynthia is the daughter of the king and queen. She hears all this noise of her mother crying and father laughing and she enters into that room in the palace. Cynthia says, Father, we can hear your laugh all over the palace. But why are you laughing? And that too when mother's crying over her broken plate? So she asks her father, Why are you laughing so much? Everyone can hear you laughing loudly and continuously. And that too now you're laughing when queen mother is crying? What's wrong? Leonard, unable to control himself, laughs ha ha ho ho so he continues laughing even after his daughter speaks to him cynthia consoling her mother consoling means she's making her stop crying and being nice to her never mind mama i'll pick up the broken pieces and try to mend the plate starts collecting the pieces Oh, I've cut my finger. So Cynthia tells her mother, Don't worry, 
Don't cry. I'll collect all these pieces of your plate and I'll try to join them together so you can get back your best plate. But when she was doing so, one of the broken pieces cuts her finger and she starts crying. Leonard laughing louder. Ha ha! Ho ho ho! So the king is still laughing even though his daughter has got hurt on her finger. Cynthia staring at her father angrily. So she's very angry with her dad now because she's got hurt and he's still laughing. Father, how can you laugh even when I've cut my finger? And she starts crying. Boo! So she's asking her father, how can he still be laughing when she's hurt? Leonard continues laughing. Ho, ho, ho. Then he says, I should stop laughing. He, he. But I cannot. Ha, ha, ha. Let me go and consult my council of wise men. Ho, ho. Ha, ha. They'll know what to do. So now the king actually wants to stop laughing. But he doesn't know how to do that. So he decides to go and speak to his team of wise men who always advise him. And he leaves from that room. Scene 3. The wise men are holding a meeting with the ruler of the neighboring kingdom, King Ferdinand. The king enters the chamber followed by the attendants. So scene 3 is where the wise men are having a very important meeting with the king of the neighboring country. His name is King Ferdinand. So the king is entering the chamber followed by his attendants. Now let's see what happens. The wise men say, your Majesty, King Ferdinand has come with a complaint that thieves from our kingdom have stolen fruits from his orchard. So the wise men are telling King Leonard that the neighboring King Ferdinand has come with a complaint that there are a few people or thieves from this kingdom who have robbed fruits from his garden. Leonard, helplessly holding his sides and roaring with laughter. Ha ha ho ho! So he can't control laughing and he keeps on laughing loudly. King Ferdinand, in anger. How dare you laugh at my complaint? I will not put up with this sort of insult. I will soon be back with my army. So King Ferdinand was very angry that King Leonard did not listen to him and laughed at his complaint. So he was very upset and decided to leave the palace right away and come back with his army to fight. Leonard, ha ha, don't go my friend, ho ho, turning to his wise men, stop him wise men, ha ha. Stop King Ferdinand. So King Leonard wants to stop King Ferdinand from doing this step. He tries but still he cannot stop his laughter. Then the wise men say, But your majesty, what makes you laugh at this serious hour? So they are asking him, Why are you still laughing when something so important and serious is happening? But the king can't stop. So Leonard, ha ha, sorry, I can't help laughing. Ha ha ha, due to which Griselda's magic. Ha ha. So now he realized that he cannot stop laughing because the witch has done some magic on him. And he tells this to his wise men. Then the wise men say, the witch's magic? Well, let's all go to Witch Griselda and request her to help the king. 
So now the wise men decide to go to the witch and ask her to remove her magic spell and help the king come back to normal. Scene 4 again takes place in the palace garden. The king enters with his wise men. They see the witch still sitting there with a frown on her face. So the witch is still sitting under the tree in the garden, very angry. So the wise men come along with the king in the garden. The wise men say, O oh, witch Griselda, our dear king is sick of laughing. Please free him from the spell. So they are requesting the witch to remove the magic spell from the king because the king just can't stop laughing and he really wants to stop. Griselda answered, No, no, no. Why did he laugh at me when I fell into the puddle? So she refuses to remove the magic spell because the king laughed at her when she fell off. The wise men say, do forgive him please. So they are asking for forgiveness for the king. Leonard, trying to control his laughter, says, I'm sorry, witch Griselda. Ha ha, I hurt your feelings when I laughed at you when you fell into the puddle. But because of your spell, I hurt my wife's feelings and then my daughter's and my friends by laughing at their misfortunes. Ha ha! I promise you I'll never laugh at others. Ha ha! So King Leonard realizes his mistake and he's very sad that he hurt very important people like his wife, his daughter and his friend and laughed at their mistakes and their sadness. He promised that he would never ever again laugh at others who were in pain. Griselda says, Since you are sorry about your behavior, I'll give you one chance. But if you ever laugh at anyone's troubles, King Leonard, so she's giving him one last chance to change his behavior, but reminds him that if he does it again, then I'm not going to spare you. I'll continue with my magic spell. But before that King Leonard says, Never, never again. Ho, ho. So he promises that he'll never ever again laugh at anyone else. So Griselda removes her magic wand and again casts a spell. Shang Mang Zhang. Back to your normal self, King Leonard. So she brings him back to his normal self by removing the magic spell. Leonard says, At last, I have stopped laughing. What a relief. Thank you very much, Witch Griselda. Thank you. So finally he stopped laughing and he was very happy and thanked the witch for helping him. Now, I will write a letter of apology to King Ferdinand. So he was going to write a letter saying sorry to King Ferdinand as King Ferdinand was very angry. I'll get a set of new plates for my queen. He was going to buy new beautiful plates for the queen as he had broken her favorite plates. Bring my daughter Cynthia. I'll stick a plaster on her poor finger. Bring my daughter Cynthia. She's got hurt. I'll put a band-aid for her finger. But first, let me present a new dress to dear old witch Griselda. So first, because witch Griselda helped him in becoming normal, he gives her a present, a new dress for her. All the wise men and people present there say three cheers for the king. So they are all happy that things are back to normal. That was all in today's story children. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and have a nice day.